Every year, around October-November time, football manager players go out on a hunt to find the promised land, the El Dorado if you may say so, to find a place where they can find the perfect wonder kits for their teams, for no money whatsoever. And even though that's not how football works, and wonder kits don't cost zero pounds, we all still do it. For a lot of years now, the only solution to finding good wonder kits was Brazil and Argentina. But this series will show you some other cheap wonder kits that you could buy for salons. So let's go on the hunt for cheap wonder kids, Mr. Spaceman edition. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Spaceman. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. We'll be hunting for the El Dorado, the perfect place to go sign your wonder kids. Yeah, so as you know, people have already discovered the El Dorado. It's Brazil. You go to Brazil, you find all the good wonder kits, you sign them for your club, and then they become amazing. And you know this, everyone knows this, you know, that's pretty much all we do. We go send our scouts to Brazil, to Argentina, to Chile, all those places, and we find players there. However, this series, as you would have seen in the intro, is not going to be about this, because this was mainly done, and as you can see here on the screen, for teams such as myself, you know, I'm playing in the Russian Premier League as Valgaida, this is my personal save. And the thing is, we don't have that much money. As you can see here, our overall balance is becoming a little bit better, but that's because we sold some good players, some important players. And actually, we sold some players, and I'm going to talk about today. And the thing is, when you're playing these smaller teams, you don't have the 10, 15, 20 million release clause money to meet with the Brazilian teams, because Brazilian teams are smart. They don't just go, hey, take our players for free. Why not? It's fine. No one cares. It's, you know, we're, we're a non-profit organization. No, come on, everyone's like this. They all always want to sell players. So they always have release clauses. And yes, for a bigger team, you know, if you sign someone for like 10, 15 million, and then they become the next uh, Neymar, that's very, very good because then you can sell them for a hundred million. That's incredible. But what we're gonna do here is actually, we're gonna find players that are cheap to buy, that are good for your teams, you know, for, for a few years, and then they're very good to sell on. So what place are we going to? Let's spin the globe and find out. And the place we're going to is Serbia. That's right. This is a pretty good nation where I normally go quite often to find players. Why Serbia, you ask? Well, they actually have a quite a good youth rating. And if you don't know, youth rating are, you know, ratings of how good your players are that you can find how good your youth players would be. However, it's not the end all be all because the youth rating of Serbia is 100. And there's a few nations that are above that. For example, I think Egypt is higher and it's kind of comparable to England, which actually England is 120, if I'm not mistaken. As you know, there's not many players coming up from Egypt as they are from England because it is also very important to have good clubs. You need to have your good youth recruitment, youth coaching, youth uh, whatever. The last one I don't remember. But yeah, it's very important. And Serbia is kind of good because their youth rating is 100. So comparable to England's 120, it's, it's comparable. But the most important thing that I'm showing you here and why I'm showing you this is because a lot of their teams have high youth recruitment. And that's kind of important because they can go around the countries looking for players, signing good youth, finding, you know, those good talented kids, bringing them all together in big clubs. And then from there on, other people can find them. And that's the cool thing. That's something that's been really important and kind of helped my squad a lot. Because let me just say that the average youth recruitment of the top division of Serbia is 13, which is very, very not bad. And if you consider that five teams have over 15, that's incredible. And actually, Red Star and Partizan have 20 that's incredible. So these guys, they have amazing facilities, as you can see here. You know, they have good junior coaching, exceptional youth facility, youth equipment, excellent youth facilities, excellent training facilities. So this means they might actually get these guys. They can start developing them and then you can snap them up. As you can see, it's probably going to be the same with Red Star. Boom. Look at that. Pretty much the same. Great training facilities, excellent youth facilities, good academy coaching and exceptional youth recruitment. So. This is something that you need to actually have your eyes on because going to Serbia, going to Red Star, going to Partizan is important. However, there's other teams. So for example, you can go to Kukaritski, Beograd. They're also a very good team. They have also good facilities. They have good youth recruitment. So again, you can find good players there. And that's just not the only thing. A lot of the top teams do have, you know, over 15 youth recruitment. And that's impressive. You know, to make your life easier, you could always just occasionally go check out, you know, Serbia's under 19s. You just scout wholesale and then see you can find some players you know the under 19s under 21 start sort of stuff as you can see a lot of them are kind of in partisan and red star so again you can find your players there but how has this worked well let me just show you how well this actually worked and let me start first with transfers out because these are the guys that make me so much money 
For example, Lazar Marovic. He's a very good player. He's 21. As you can see, pretty good stats over here. He came from Partizan. We signed him for free from Partizan. And we made 16 million from him. That is something very, very important for a club like mine because we are trying to build up our facilities. Again, another player, Aleksandr Milinkovic, another Serbian, also from Partizan. Very good left back. You know, he's got either foot. So you can play left back, right back, center, defensive midfield. So he's pretty much all rounded player. Also came from Partizan. How much money do we make on him? Quite a lot. 525k we spent on him, 12.5 million made. So this is kind of a money printing machine, you know. After a few years, see, he's played two, you know, two years. He's been a good player for me. So it's important that year we find good players and then we sell them for 12.5 million. And this is why our finances are good. There's a lot of players I can go for, you know. Um, going to my squad again, you know, you can see some, we have some more Serbians. Zdravko Vukuje. This guy is actually very, 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 very good. As you can see, he looks like he could be almost a world-class defender, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just take a look here. He's apparently operating at Premier League level. We signed him for 2.7 million, and I'm afraid to say how much I'm going to sell him for. And also, don't forget, this is actually Russian League. So whoever people, uh, the people that are coming out of here, they're actually going to be quite cheap. If you are a little bit of a bigger team, and let's say you're Chelsea or something, and you sign this guy, you'll probably sell him for the 20s and 30s, because, you know, it's more expensive to steal players from the Premier League than it's from the Russian Premier League. And as you can see, the Zdravko Vukuje is also our most important player. Yeah, and as you can see here, this is not the only ones that are amazing. You can see Dalibor Ognajnanovic. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say. He's a wonder kid already, and he's playing for Paris Saint-Germain. He's a squad player at 20. He started at Red Star. So again, if you find them early on, they can be really good. How much are they buying for? 11 million. Okay, so that's kind of big teams with lots of money. Next up, what do we have? We have Vladan Milinkovic playing at Barcelona. Actually started a Volo... I actually started Vojvodnaya, again, another team you should probably keep your eye on, they have good facilities. Joined Spartak, then went to Barcelona and has already played 10 games for them. He looks amazing. So again, I could probably go through a lot of these guys telling you how good they are, but again, take a look at them. Make sure you take a look at them, sign them, and you can actually make a lot of money to sell them on. And you could always find a gem that will be your guy for the whole run of whole save. But anyways, I'll be doing this a bit more often. I'll be covering some of the lesser known, maybe some Eastern European countries that are good to make Wonder Kids. Tell me if you guys like it. Tell me what you think about it. This, these, these ones are going to be a little bit shorter just so you guys can kind of, kind of, it's just going to be a quick run through of the things just so you're aware of these countries and not just go to Brazil and Argentina and have just you're, the same saves over again. This could be something a little different for you to focus on. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in some more Tigers of Asia, some more one-off videos, maybe some more cool vlogs. And I'll see you guys, yeah, I'll see you in the future. Bye, guys.